so in my opinion they try to see if you have completely invested yourself in the intensive or you have just done the intensive for the sake of doing it so during the interview round first of all you should be completely calm and confident you should no and you believe because you have done it so you should know that yes i have done it i should be able to explain it properly they check every skill of you every background of uh, machine learning and deep learning so hello everyone welcome to ic2c's podcast series uh, today we have mr siba samarth pani gari as our guest he is a third year undergraduate at iit kharagpur of computer science and engineering and he has backed an internship opportunity at adobe india and big data labs as a summer intern and he has also done prior internship at institute for data systems and society at mit in winter 2020 so hi siba how are you hello i am fine hi nice to meet you hi yeah uh, so moving forward uh, have i missed anything about you uh, can you please tell us a little bit more about yourself sure sure so back in summer 2020 i had done an internship at ifat university saudi arabia and also one more university uh, called bennett university under times group of india at noida also i published one research paper titled multi class emotion classification using eeg signal so which is available uh, which is published by springer and i have participated in various competitions including inter iit bridge i2i automatic headline and sentiment generator event and also i am interested in the field of computer vision auto ml and i write short blogs yeah yeah so that's great uh, so guys this is our another video video in the series of internship hamari do teen video already aa chuki hai google pe quadi in in this video we are going to discuss about like what was his interview process at adobe uh what was the type of questions he was asked in online round and his experience of interview rounds and finally we will give some tips and tricks for juniors uh, so moving forward uh, what was the process of your adobe internship can you please tell sure the adobe intensive included two rounds the first was a shortlisting round which was an online exam and the second one was an interview round and on the basis of these two rounds the students are selected for the intensive So let me give a little bit detail about shortlisting round. The first shortlisting round contained six sections. It was an online exam. It was uh, the had six section and the first section had four questions on linear algebra. The next set of four question were on probability. The next set of four question were on computer science basic. The next four were on puzzles. The last two section uh, out of the last two section the section 5 contain two programming question which is we generally call competitive programming or cp and the last one uh, was an essay round like you have to write a short essay uh, so that's it so moving forward uh, like what was the type of questions he was asked in online round this type of question puche jata hai can you please do? sure the questions in the first four section that i said linear algebra probability computer science basic and puzzles they are questions which generally come from theoretical background like linear algebra and probability they came from completely from theoretical background i have like if you have done a course properly on linear algebra and probability it would be extremely helpful to attempt those question and in the case of puzzles there are various books we will discuss later which in the tips and tricks section uh, there are certain books which are extremely famous for this kind of question and you can uh, attempt them prior so as to have a grasp in during the exam during the exam for the computer science basic they were not too tough they were mostly related to the oops programming concept and some basic of computer science so that was not difficult much now coming to the cp round there are two cp questions as i said earlier the first one was a simple greedy question it was extremely easy not very difficult the second one was i have the particular question in my mind actually so if i may i can just say the question it was the question goes like this given the length of the word and the maximum number of consecutive vowels that it contain determine how many unique words can be generated so this was the question i hope you can also add it in the description later yeah yeah and okay sure and the essay question was uh, it, it this the essay question was on these lines so it was to explain a recent project that you had undertaken and the contribution that you had in it the learning that you obtained and how it can be used in the future so this was the essay question for all in the last section Uh, so guys se bane jitne bhi questions bole hain unke link description mein mil jayenge and another thing abhi tak video ko like nahi kiya to like kar do aur channel ko subscribe kar do ki aur aise video hamare paas lined up internship ke series mein 
तो जल्दी से आने वाले हैं तो वीडियो को लाइक कर दो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दो सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टी बस हाउ वॉज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एर इंटरव्यू राउंड सो देर वॉज ओनली वन इंटरव्यू राउंड इट वॉज जनरली फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट इट वॉज थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनट्स एंड फॉर मी इट वॉज ऑल्सो अबाउट द सेम टाइम सो इन द इंटरव्यू राउंड इट वॉज मोस्टली सी वी ग्रिलिंग फॉर मी सो इन द सी वी आई हैड मैंसन द इंटेंसिव दैट आई हैड डन द प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट आई हैव डन सो दे आस्क मी ऑन दोज वॉट प्रोजेक्ट्स यू हैव डन लाइक इन केस ऑफ द इंटेंसिव दे आस्क मी फ्रॉम द फंडामेंटल लाइक वॉट वॉज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू टैकल वॉट वॉज द अप्रोच दैट यू स्टार्टेड विथ हाउ द अप्रोच वॉज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द लिटरेचर सर्वे डेट यू डिड देन दे वेंट टू हाउ योर को इंटर्स हुर विथ यू वॉट देयर अप्रोच वॉज what was the brainstorming idea what, how did you land up like what was the process that you landed up at the end so it was about all like entirely explaining the intensive experience so in my opinion they tried to see if you have completely invested yourself in the intensive or you have just done the intensive for the sake of doing it so this was their way of understanding that how have you attempted at that intensive and how you aced it so to give a just very brief flow of the question they first asked me about problem statement then they asked me what was the literature survey gist like i mentioned i have read in the cv i had mentioned i had read this many papers so it was about the survey of the, like they asked me what was the gist of those papers then they asked me various basic definition regarding to the problem statement so if you are thinking that okay uh, this problem statement is fairly simple they would be knowing it so it might not be the case because the interviewer might be of a different field than what you are trying to explain in intensive so you should be completely clear with the basic definition because they might even ask you the simplest of definition related to that field so you should be able to explain it in layman terms and give an intuition the uh, next few questions were on how, what was the data set that you tried to handle and how you handled it and ultimately the approach and the results that you obtained so this were the set of question uh, set of broad set of question which uh, they asked during the interview round uh, yes yeah, so see but that was about the interview round Uh, so can you tell us like uh, what should be the mindset of someone who is giving the interview and how should they prepare sure that's a great question so i refer to all the technicalities just now so during the interview round first of all you should be completely calm and confident you should no and you believe because you have done it so you should know that yes i have done it i should be able to explain it properly starting from even the basic definition starting from even the basic terms to completely to the end result that you have obtained you should be fair like my hint or my suggestion would be just before the interview round please go through what you have done and refresh your mind that okay these are the fields that i tackled these are the problems that i tackled these are the issues that i tackled and somehow we brainstormed and found the answer so just brush your skills up brush your mindset that okay i have done this i have explored this many areas i landed is i tackled this many issues in these these areas so okay this was the flow during the entire internship what i did what my fellow interns did what was my contribution so keep yourself calm and confident and try to in your mind do a cycle of things like okay this is what i have done this is what they have done this is what my learning was so you should be fairly confident while answering they should not feel that ki uh, you are just saying because you have done it somehow and you just in a span of 2 months or 3 months whatever the intensive was you just did it so it they should not feel they should feel that okay you have given your best to the intensive and you have achieved something out of it so the important thing is you should be calm and confident and you should believe that since i have done the intensive i know and i can explain it to them so these are the things that i would like to suggest here yeah great uh, so siva uh, can you give some tips and tricks for your juniors to help them okay sure no problem so first of all the thing is many people just i mean many students they just uh, start off with any course over any online course offering platform and they after doing one or two such courses they feel that yes we know a lot about machine learning and deep learning but that is actually not the case so the case is in the interview round they check every skill of you every background of uh, machine learning and deep learning so if you are saying a term let's say linear regression you should be fairly confident that i know what exactly linear regression is what is the maths behind it how exactly it is working what exactly it is used for how it can be modified how it can be tweaked what are, tweaked what are the various regularization and everything and like you should know properly that thing what you are saying so in the interviews cannot just fluke out something and you can say yeah he is not going to ask me anything so you should whatever the word you are saying like the terms and technical 
definition that you are saying you should be fairly confident and you should know them particularly because he might and he he might and he's he is going to go deep he is going to dig deeper into it like what uh, what do you mean by that what do you mean by this because they're trying to test the knowledge that you are machine learning not just how you are able to code or import psyche learn and do stuff so that is not the case so the first thing is if you are saying like if you are doing a machine learning course do it properly know the mathematical background know the maths behind it know every fundamental of it and then you should stand confident that yes i know this not if so if you have done the courses are great that they provide you the basic push to start with the start with the field because it's such a vast field but that should not be the judging criteria that i have done two courses then i know so many things about machine learning so this should not be the mindset this is the first tip that i would like to say the second is uh, for the competitive question for the competitive programming question uh, before the exam do not go much into code forces and all difficult questions that you face in your uh, that you have solved till the entire solved in your entire duration of practice just go to the website such as let's say lead code or interview bit where they provide company wise question and to the point question just try to solve them and have them in the fresh so like you have done code forces code save or anything that you have done so uh, that's okay you have done it now before the in the revision time let's say a month or a month and a half before the short listing rounds just go through the website which provide company wise question because they are like the past year previous year question so before you go to j advance you see the previous year j advance question before you go to j main you see the previous year j main actual question so similarly before going to apply for any company or setting for short listing you should uh, see what they had asked in the past previously so this is another uh, point the third point is um, since i said about machine learning and uh, fundamentals and knowing everything about it not exactly everything but you should know fairly good amount it so that you can confidently say in front of the interviewer so there are number of courses that uh, i would like to suggest here like i did one of the courses was from world quant university wqu so they have this two great courses data on data science and machine learning so they provide the maths behind it a uh, maths behind it and try to make it easily understandable for anyone who is new to the field so i myself found when i was starting i myself found those two courses to be extremely great for data science and machine learning introduction apart from that there are very uh, many standard books that people refer but uh, you may feel them to be too mathematical or detailed so uh, you can just ask your seniors who have done it and they would provide uh, in our case there was one book called by tom michel i will mention it in the description also uh, you guys will do in the description also so that book is uh, mathematical but that is also a good starting point for machine learning so my basic point is uh, just try to know things all the things about machine learning not just the import stuff like importing from uh, scikit learn package numpy package and doing stuff you should know what's the maths behind it and everything because in the interview round they are definitely going to grill you on the complete fundamentals so these are some of the tips and tricks i would like to provide सो गाइस शिवा ने जितने भी क्वेश्चंस और बुक्स के लिंक्स बोले हैं वो डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएंगे और दिस वाज अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस विद यू थैंक यू शिवा फॉर बीइंग विद अस थैंक यू शिवा इट वाज ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी टू